this is an actual image of SS Jones. As far as I know, this may be the only image left of him uh, actually being pastor. He was the son of slaves, born in Tennessee, who came to Oklahoma Territory during the land run. Solomon Sir Jones founded the Antioch Temple of Hope Church in Muskogee over 125 years ago. Today, Muskogee Mayor Marlon Coleman serves as pastor of that church. This is so significant because this is a part of history that may never get recaptured again. The mannerism in which he's sitting, the poise in which he's taking, the pride that he has. I just wish that all of us would have this sense of purpose that um, we live the life that is so pleasing to God and so helpful to humanity that one day someone will look, at at your Im look back at your image and say, wow, you know, that was a great man. But some of Reverend Jones's most stunning work is what he did away from the pulpit, which continues to amaze to this day. He did something that no, almost nobody did. He got his hands on the camera, and he, for some reason, felt compelled to, to document African-American culture and history with that camera. Bruce Fisher served as the multicultural curator for the Oklahoma Historical Society for the last 25 years, working to preserve Oklahoma's rich African-American history carrying on the tradition of S.S. Jones. He took pictures of everything, baptisms, free funerals, sports, rodeos, black towns. He was a pioneer because he attempted to do something nobody else was doing. He, he, he was influential. Uh, he knew preachers, he knew doctors, he knew lawyers. It was a big deal, a huge deal for people and for black people to see themselves on moving pitches. Jones was a fierce proponent of supporting black institutions. He worked to establish churches, businesses, schools, and all black towns, but used his film camera to take it a step further and document everyday black life in Oklahoma and throughout the South. The historic footage was almost lost and forgotten, but in the mid-2000s, an antiques dealer came across canisters of old films stashed inside the walls of a property he owned in Tulsa. Langston University historian Curie Ballard, who passed away in 2014, heard about them, realized their significance, and acquired the films to preserve as part of Oklahoma history. What was discovered on the six hours of film footage is truly a treasure. 29 silent black and white films documenting the thriving African-American communities across Oklahoma from 1924 to 1928. The footage is considered to be the most extensive film records there are of Southern and urban black life at the time. The films provide a rare glimpse into 1920s black Oklahoma. There's the Juneteenth celebration in OKC in 1926. He showcased black entrepreneurs and business owners in Tulsa and Muskogee. He visited Langston on several occasions, even taking in a football game numerous parades, church services, and congregations across the state, and Jones was meticulous in the documentation, labeling and titling all of what he shot. Thomas Allen Harris, senior lecturer at Yale University, teaches about the lasting impact of Reverend Jones's films. For many students, the Reverend S.S. Jones material is the first time that they've actually seen any kind of documentary footage of African-American cowboys, of African-Americans who were in the West, in Oklahoma, who had oil rigs on their land. So we're seeing the world through this particular lens, this African-American businessman, religious leader, civic leader, who had the foresight to understand that it was really important to document this history. It's Oklahoma history, which is also American history. He saw it the same way that we're seeing it today. People don't appreciate how black people survive, and he does, he documents it. Muskogee had a rich history, 3rd Street, 2nd Street, with lots of black businesses, lots of professional establishments that were owned and operated by African Americans. We always wanted to remember the history of the pastors of this church because it has such a deep legacy. He was a leader in the National Baptist Convention. He was a leader in the National Baptist Sunday School Congress. That's important in the African American community because there were no conferences that African Americans can attend without being discriminated against except for the Boyd Sunday School Congress at the time. 
And so to have had him as our pastor in that legacy of great men that led this church, it's invaluable to reference S.S. Jones. We would not have our place in history. We would not have our place at the table to this day had it not been for the impact that S.S. Jones had during his lifetime. The historic home movies of Solomon Sir Jones remain preserved at Yale and are part of the collection at the Smithsonian's National Museum of African American History and Culture. Free digitized versions are available online for the world to see and experience S.S. Jones's simple yet vital historical footage. So what Solomon Sir Jones did was to save a part of our history. He had somebody film him. <laughs> He had somebody film him, and he had he had it. He took his hat off and tipped his hat. That was almost intuitive that, that, that he knew somebody would, would discover this film at some point and, and appreciate it. We owe a great deal to Solomon Sir Jones.